Welcome back to Nostalgianomics. My name is Alex. Today, we are going to find you the best possible values in the Pokemon Go TCG products being released. But before we do that, I do want to draw your attention to my analytics. This is awkward. Only 16% of you are actually hitting that bell icon and being notified of my videos. Meaning, when a new video gets released, you're not getting notified. Or when I have a live stream, you're not being notified, so you can't jump in the live and get in the chat and talk to people and ask questions and get them answered. And so, if you want to take a second right now, just scroll over there, click that bell icon, and uh, you'll start getting notified of the videos and the lives when they come live or when they drop. The other thing is, only about 60% of you are actually subscribed to the channel. Meaning, 40% of you... You come back, you watch the videos, maybe you like me, maybe you don't, maybe you enjoy the channel, maybe you don't, but either way, you're watching the video, so you might as well just take a second, it helps me out a great deal, just hit that subscribe button, and uh, cost you nothing, really appreciate it if you do, if you don't, I understand, it is what it is, I appreciate you watching anyway. Jumping back to the video, let's take a look at the Pokemon Go ETB items that are out there. First up, the Pokemon Go Center exclusive ETB Plus. These are going for $65. Uh, they're not at retail. They're only on the Pokemon Center. What do you get? What do you get in these things? Well, you get 12 booster packs, and you get a full art Mewtwo V promo card. And then you get a whole bunch of extra, you know, accessories. But what it comes down to is how you value those accessories. A lot of people don't really care too much. Let's be honest. No one really cares about getting the, the card dividers, the deck box, the the sleeves, the metal damage counters, metal coins at this point. There, there are a few of you, right? There are a lot of collectors out there who really like having all these different items, but most people just pull out the packs, they pull out the promo, they throw everything else in the box, and they throw the box on the shelf. Or maybe they throw it away, maybe they sell it, whatever they may do with it, maybe they give it to their kids, I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, what it really comes down to, the value in this box, is 12 booster packs and a promo card. So for a $65 item, you get 12 packs at $5 a piece, that's $60. And then a promo card, let's say it's $5, that's where you get your value. And then everything else, the box and all the, all the accessories, is basically free. Now, you can play around with those valuations all you want and make the pack cost kind of come to what you think it's worth. But in my mind, as a pack opener, this is probably not the best value to go. Now, as a collector, maybe a good, a good value. As an investor... Well, I mean, this could be a great value, right? Because we probably won't see these prices go lower than this. Um, you're not going to see them sold anywhere else unless on the secondary market, which I don't know why they'd be sold for less than the secondary market, but you never know. Um, and uh, yeah, as these sell out, depending on how, how fast they sell out, how popular the set is, how popular the item is, these could grow a great deal in the future. We don't know. So it could be a good investment value, but definitely not a good pack opening value in the time being. Moving on. Uh, these mini tins. So these are probably the worst value out there right now. <laughs> so basically, you right now you get five tins with two packs each, and then you get like a, a coin or maybe something else in there. But basically, it's two packs for ninety dollars. So you're getting ten packs total with these five tins for ninety dollars, which is over nine dollars a pack. And then I guess you could place some collectible value on the tins themselves, maybe the coin or whatever inside. But no matter how much value you put on those, it's really not worth it to buy these for pack openers. Uh, you know, as with any pre-release item, it's not going to release till 8.5. Um, we've seen it dropping already. There's a good chance it's going to drop more. Maybe these will get more affordable and they will be a better value in the future. But for right now, I would say maybe steer clear of these tins for the time being. Uh, next up is going to be these pin collections. So... These are also not the greatest value. What you get, well, they're going to come with the three starters. They're going to have Squirtle, a Bulbasaur, and a Charmander pin collection. You're going to get the promo card and the pin. It's not going to be like a V or any type of full art. It's just going to be a regular hollow probably. Um, then you get three booster packs. So for $29.33, you get three packs, a pin, and a promo. Uh, that's just astronomical what they're charging for those packs or those promo cards. Um, there may be some type of value in the future on these. I think we should we can expect these to drop quite a bit, and for the time being, this is not a good value. I'd probably stay away from these if I were you for the time being at these price points. Moving on, the regular old Pokemon Go, you know, T, uh, Elite Trainer Box. These are usually the best values uh, to open packs. Uh, this is, you know, no exception. Basically, you get 10 booster packs and a promo card, the Mewtwo uh, Full Art promo card in these. Um, basically, these are a $47 a box if you buy them by a case. They're a little over $47 a box if you buy them as single boxes. But what it comes down to is if you value each booster pack at say like $4.20, 
and then you throw the Mewtwo card at $5. That's where you get the $47 value from. So basically, it's about a $4.27 booster pack. This is lower than we've seen in the other items. And you usually get some extra items as well. You get the sleeves, the card dividers, the energies, all that good stuff like you do in every ETB. But uh, I think this is, from what we've seen so far, this is going to be our best value for opening packs for the time being. Um, I also think it's good, you know, investment piece. Uh, there's no booster box in this set. This is going to be kind of like the closest you can get to a standard booster box. Uh, the ETVs have done well in other specialty sets up until now. Um, a lot of people want to point to Shining Fates as not performing well, but if anyone remembers, before the reprint on Shining Fates, it was up towards 80 to 100 a box, so meaning it was already almost you know 90 to 100 uh, percent return on value before the reprint. Meaning, uh, yeah, Shining Fates, you know, and then moving back on through all the other uh, special release sets, uh, you know. Uh, what, what, what do we got? We got Champion's Path, we got Hidden Fates, we got Shining Legends, uh, Dark, uh, Dragon's Majesty. They've all performed very well, and so I don't think this is going to be any exception to that because obviously it's got the Mewtwo box art. The set is pr it's pretty good. I know it's you know not as amazing as some were expecting it to be, but it still does have some great cards in it, some good pulls. And so I, I do think it's going to continue to perform well, but uh, you make that decision for yourself. Um, as for pack openers, this is going to be one of your best bets to open packs at the best value. So I will leave links to uh, the case and the single ETB in the description. These are going to be the lowest prices on the open market right now. And so if you want to move into them, hey, did the hard work for you. I found the best prices. You can go ahead and, and, uh, and pick them up. Next up is going to be the Radiant EV Collection. So these were released on Pokemon Center for $49.99. They're actually a lot more expensive. If you go to somewhere like TCG Player, they're almost $60. Um, they're also uh, more expensive on eBay singly. I think they're in the mid 50s, low 50s. If you buy them as a case of six, you can actually get them for under $50 a box. Um, what you get, you get eight booster packs, you get the Radiant EV, you get the pin, you also get the play mat. And so this is really has to depend on what value you put the promo and the play mat at, right? Because eight booster packs, hey, $5 a piece, that's $40. The Radiant EV is $5, and you get the pin and the, and the play mat for a few dollars. Um, that may not be right. So let's say you put each booster pack at maybe 4 or four fifty. Then maybe it makes more sense to put a value in the play mat, the Radiant EV. You can play around with those values uh, based on how badly you want the, the promo and the play mat. But uh, as far as the booster packs go, I don't think it's the best way for a pack opener. Someone who just wants to open this set, they want to find the cheapest way to crack some packs. Probably not the best idea. Um, as, a sealed, as a sealed collection or a sealed investment, this may perform very well because of the play mat is so cool. It might be collectible because the Radiant EV is such a good card. I don't know how many of these boxes are going to be printed, so I don't know how bad that card is going to drop or be how low the value is going to be in the future. But um, it could perform well. As far as a pack opener that goes, though, I, I still wouldn't buy these as a pack opener, but it could be a good collection piece. So I'll leave a link to these as well for the case. Uh, next up is going to be these uh, collection boxes. These are going to be a little different as well. They come with six packs and a pin of the Legendary Birds. And they also come with a full art trainer. So we all know how everyone likes their full art trainers. So that, that could really affect how these perform as well as how many are actually printed, how, how you know plentiful they are on the market. But, you know, they're $99.77 for all three, meaning they're about $33, $33 a box, a little less. Uh, so basically you're getting, you know, six packs and a trainer for $33. Say six packs are five bucks a piece. That's 30 bucks. The trainer's worth about three. Maybe take the packs down to about $4.50 a piece. Then you get in the trainer's worth a little more, depending on how you want to value that full art trainer, how the market values them. Um, these are definitely not a bad option. Um, full art trainers are never a bad thing to have uh, for your collection or for an investment, as we've seen. Um, the packs, the pack values aren't outrageously crazy. They're not as high as you know some of the other items we've seen. So these are actually a good way to open the packs and get a good collection card in your you know in your collection. They could be a good investment as well. Um, you know, it's it's yet to be seen. But, uh, you know, six booster packs, full art trainer, they could perform well in the future. Again, not 100% sure, but uh, I will leave links in the description if you do want to pick these up for yourself. Uh, next up is going to be the regular old tins. Now, these are still in pre-release stage, so they're going to have a picture of the Pikachu hollow on each one. But really, they are going to have a Pikachu, a Blissey, and a Snorlax uh, promo card. And then you'll get four booster packs as well. So, if we kind of do the math, um, you know, say each booster pack's worth, you know, $5 a piece. You know, you got twenty, forty, sixty dollars. You know, there's it's it's seventy for all three. So maybe each promo card is worth about three thirty three a piece. I think that's pretty reasonable. It's not like a V or a full art a promo card. It's just a regular hollow. Uh, I think three thirty three is probably a good value. So you're talking about five dollars a pack. Now you could have uh, you could say you know the ten SM value maybe for collection purposes. Not sure. 
Um, but you know, and as far as tins go and in, in investing, hey, tins can you know a lot of times perform well, especially the promo card and the packs inside perform well. So could be a good investment. Um, not the greatest way to open packs. Not the great. Probably not going to be the greatest promos. But they're middle of the road. You know, if you if you like the tins, if you like the promos, if you want to pick them up. Not, not a terrible idea. It's not the worst idea in the world. It's not as bad as those those mini tins or those pin collections. So uh, hey, if you want to pick some of those up, I'll leave those a link to those as well. Last but not least, the executor box. This is going to be the creme de la creme for pack openers. Okay, check this out. Ninety two dollars right now for six for six boxes for a full case. Okay, let me show you what that comes out to. All right, ninety two dollars divided by six boxes brings you to fifteen thirty three. You get four packs in each. The packs are $3.83 a piece, and that's valuing the promo card and the jumbo card at zero. I get it. It's Executor. It's not going to be super sought after. It's not very valuable, but it's worth something, right? So if you even give those cards a dollar a piece value, you're talking like the low $3 range for these booster packs. This is going to be the cheapest way you're going to find to open this product. I mean, look at TCG Player. Even single packs are already going for $5. Uh, that was kind of the standard in a lot of these products. The next cheapest was the Pokemon Go ETB, which got them in the low fours. These are going to be in like the mid threes or low threes with giving the promo cards any value at all. Um, so this is going to be your best bet for all you pack openers out there. I know a lot of the times people flock to the ETBs because it's kind of just the easy kind of uh, mainstream item. You buy the ETB, it's usually the best pack value, kind of like the booster boxes and regular sets. But in this set, actually, you're going to want to go for the executor box to be have your best pack opening value. So again, I'll leave the link to this in the description. There's still nine available right now at, for this listing. There are other listings that are around this price, but this is going to be the cheapest price on eBay right now. And so if you're lucky enough to pick some of these up, go for it. I, I'm probably going to. So um, yeah, you know, again, it, it all differs on what, kind of what value you give a lot of the kind of extra accessory items in the in the products. You know, if you really value a lot of these extras, you get in these, you know, ex, uh, exclusive, you know, ETV Plus products. If you really value the, you know, the tin artworks, if you value the pin or the promos, you know, maybe you value uh, the, the Playmat or the Radiant Eevee. Maybe you value the Full Art Trainers. Maybe you value the tins or the promos in those. It really defers on what you want for your collection. But pack opener-wise, I'd go for either this box or I'd go for the uh, ETB, the regular ETB, and get the Full Art Mewtwo. Uh, collection-wise, that's up for grabs. Uh, Investment-wise, that's up for grabs as well. I'm still kind of, you know, drawn to uh, more of the regular ETB or maybe the Pokemon exclu uh, Center exclusive ETB. A lot of the other items don't jump out at me too much. Uh, the Radiant EVs could do well, and also these uh, these boxes could do well with the Full Art Trainers, but uh, I'm not sure right now. Um, again, we're still in real early stages, pre-release stages. The set's not even out yet. Uh, I always like to kind of let a lot of the products drop and see how they perform, see how many are actually out there before I like to really get into them. But uh, hey, bigger risk, bigger reward, right? If you jump into things sooner, you could get lucky. They could go to the moon, and you could be you know one of the first in. I can't tell you what, what to do with that. It's, it's all up to you. But uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this helped you out. Uh, again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't hit that notification bell, please hit that to be you know informed of the new videos and the live stream so you can jump into lives. And uh, other than that, my name is Alex. This is Nostalgianomics. Be back here in a new video soon. I'm out.